The following fight is a special showcase bout. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is an MMA specialist and stands five feet, seven inches tall. He weighed in officially at 178.1 pounds and in his 12 fight career has built a record of eight wins and four losses. Fighting out of Lone Togo, Baba Zeus Najumbi. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is a striking specialist and stands six feet tall. He went in officially at 180.7 pounds and across 17 professional fights. Has a master record of 12 victories and five defeats. Fighting out of Buenos Aires, Argentina, Pepe Loriano Staropoli. Your referee in charge, Mark Goddard. Mark Goddard to oversee the action. Staropoli in the black trunks. Baba Najombe in the gray. Three five minute rounds of showcase action. Both men trying to improve and impress the bosses. Maybe earn an invitation to a future PFL Europe season. PFL South Africa, maybe. Excuse me, PFL South America, PFL Africa. Regional leagues that will be opening eventually. Look at the difference in, in intensity from both these guys. There's that hard right low kick that we see from Najombe. But straight away, Steropoli is on the front foot trying to take the space in the cage away from him. The best remedy for that for Najamba is what he's doing right now. Chop that leg down. Well, this is a really tough test for Baba Najombe. I mean, Staropoli, he's been at the highest level of the sport. He's a veteran who knows what it's like in a high pressure fight. Baba Najombe, on the regional scene, he's won three different championships in three different countries at three different weights. And that translates to him just oftentimes being the better athlete, being the better fighter not having the competition to truly test him. Not the case for Staropoli. Good movement so far from Najombe. I don't know whether he can keep this up for 15 minutes, though. Good pressure from Staropoli. Hard right low kick, my goodness. Baba Najombe paid attention to Dan Hardy's keys to victory. <laughs> Made that part of the game plan. You can see Staropoli is trying to corral the fighter in front of him. Besides the 12 fight Najamba has had in MMA, he's also fought in kickboxing. And that definitely shows with those leg kicks. I like this movement here. You know, this kind of movement could be quite frustrating for Staropoli, who wants to mix it up and get close, start trading punches. He might start overreaching and leaving himself open. Another heavy kick right to that outside of the knee for Lariano Staropoli. It's exactly what you want to land, right on the nerve. Redness already on the outside of the leg of Staropoli. You see the, the leg is already moving different for Staropoli. He's already standing on it differently, and he switches to southpaw there. Interesting. Switch right back, but maybe a subconscious indicator that that leg is already hurting. Now Staropoli grabs a hold of Najombe, throws a knee right up the center. Staropoli looking for the takedown. He is the bigger fighter. Yeah, this is one of those catch weight bouts where it feels like Staropoli's coming down and Najombe might be coming up to make this. Yeah, I don't think Najombe cuts a great deal of weight, but, um, you know, the longer this fight goes, the more it's going to suit him because he's going to be able to stay more mobile than his opponent. It's just when his opponent lands, he's going to feel that additional force and weight. Good switch kick there. Very athletic. Najombe continues to circle on the outside of the cage. Staropoli is able to freeze his feet temporarily there. And now Najombe with a big lift oh, and a slam 
He backs off of it. There's the power. Almost just to prove his point and didn't want to stay on the ground. Very calculated first round here from Najambe. Can he keep it up for three rounds, though? As you said, Dan, takes a lot of energy. That's the question. An exchange of punches there from these two. Jombe overreaching, got to be careful about doing that against someone experienced like Staropoli. Nice head movement from the Jombe, and good job getting out of the way. And oh! It's a good thing he had that hand up. Right. Got to be careful when it's just one arm by itself. Heavy kick can break the forearm. <laughs> Look at the swelling on right above the knee on the, on the left leg of Staropoli, though. Oh, good nice. takedown defense here. Nice reversal from Staropoli. Now in top position in close guard. Look who's in the building here in France. There's David Hay, world champion boxer. <laughs> little bird tells me he might be joining us on the broadcast a little bit later. I think he knows a thing or two about our strikers later on on the card. 19 more seconds in round number one. Baba Najombe has got his shoulders glued to the mat here. Striking from his back. Staropoli sends right hands around the guard. Yeah, studying Najambe before the fight, this is something he needs to work on. He needs to be able to get off his back. Touch of the glove starts round number two. Lariano Staropoli in the black, Baba Najombe in the gray. An exchange of kicks took Najombe off balance. I think that would be a really smart addition to his game, Staropoli, in this round. Start to return some of those low kicks. Especially when he can switch it up and go high. And already Najombe switched stances after one nasty kick. 12 kicks to three for uh, in favor of Najombe here. Nice straight left. Staropoli also has the ability to switch to southpaw. He's done that a lot in the past. Would not be surprised to see him do that in this second. Oh, good head kick there from Najombe, but caught by Staropoli. Nice check on the inside low kick, traded it with a punch. Gave underhooks there to Najombe, but Staropoli's marching him back to the fence, staying strong in this position. You could already see in the, in the stand up that the movement for Najombe is not as quick anymore as in the first round. Takes a lot of energy to keep that up for three rounds. In that last exchange, Mark Goddard said last warning, I believe, to Baba Najombe. I'm not sure what the last warning was for, maybe grabbing the fence. Second time this second round that Staropoli has got Najombe up against the fence. Staropoli just trying to line him up for a shot, but every time he starts to posture to strike, Najombe's moving. Going to the body there. Oh, a searching hook to the body there from Najombe. Would not like to have been on the receiving end of that. Nice body shot from Staropoli there. There he goes to Southpaw. Fatigue starting to show for Baba Najombe, who's made some Heavy commitments on these counter strikes and those right hands and leg kicks early. Yeah, now he's starting to be a little bit more stationary up against the fence. Staropoli's gonna be licking his lips if he finds himself in a punching range with a tired opponent. Nice one, two there from Staropoli and good head, mo head movement to get out of the way from that big swing from the Jambe. Oh, same again with from the first round. Good thing he had his, head, his hand up to block that. Body shots again from Najambe. But Najambe is oh, very, very tired. It was that searching uppercut from Staropoli that time. But he goes chest to chest. Steps back out to range. Nice. what Staropoli wants to do. Nice combination there. And it's always going to be the combinations that are going to get this guy. You're going to have to throw volume because he's so elusive. 
This is better from Steropoli. <laughs> nice body shot. Lovely that. Really oh, nice. And Beautiful. a left hand to follow it. Jab from Southpaw. Steropoli. <laughs> John Bay smiling. I think he can feel some frustration on the... Oh, oh here we go. Full combination there. Oh! That landed and that wobbled the John Bay. Got him hurt. Bounced that. <laughs> off the support post in the smart cage here. He's got that Steropoli march going on. Let's go. Now, Jumbe is exhausted. He'd rather stand against the fence right now than move away. Take shots from Steropoli. Body work from Steropoli. Beautiful. Oh, and a head kick blocked. But those body shots are really starting to take their toll on Najombe. Right Hands are coming down. Section. Yeah, he's now teeing off. Najombe sprints away. Watch how he keeps rocking back onto his heels as well when he's under. That was a lovely low kick as well by Pepe. There's nowhere for Najombe to go. Staropoli stalking. Final 30 seconds of round number two. All the. the <laughs> Pushing the pace in the first round is really paying off for Staropoli now in the second round. He's got a jambe exactly where he wants it. That's going to earn a stoppage from Mark Goddard if he continues to run and turn his back. Jambe offered a hook back to the body of Staropoli. He doesn't want this fight to be over. He just wants to catch his breath. Good back kick again. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard calls a halt to the action at the end of round number two. Declaring your winner via TKO to corner stoppage, Luriano Staropoli. All right, Luriano Staropoli, he didn't come off the stool to meet you in the third round. When that second round was over, did you know you had this fight won? Yes, was well, a little bit strange, you know, is because he do very good first round. The second, I feel he's tired, but. I prepare for war, you know. Yeah, I wanna all my fight was a fucking war, and I prepare for that. But doesn't matter. Let's talk about that first round. He had great movement, right? He was beating up your leg. How much damage on that lead leg? No, I am so strong legs, and I don't feel it. But was good, was good round. Can I say something in Spanish? Sí. Eh, bueno, quería dedicarle esta victoria a mi sobrino Leandro, que cumple hoy dos años. Eh, bueno, no debe entender una mierda, pero feliz cumpleaños, guachín, te quiero mucho. Now translate that for us. <laughs> no, uh, this is strange, because he has two years. Él tiene dos años, dentro de un futuro, va a decir, mira lo que hacía mi tío por no trabajar. <laughs> All right, what's next for you? Uh, I am in the tournament. I am to the tournament, and I, I am the next champion of, of PFL. As word of God, and other things, PFL very soon come to Argentina. I promise that. Laureano Storopoli, ladies and gentlemen.